Hey everyone, Nick Dearbertis here teaching you financial modeling. And today we're going to be going over the lab exercise solution for the first lab in the Understanding Complex Results with Visualization lecture series. This lecture exercise is on getting started with PANDAS. So all of the exercises for this segment are in this one Jupyter Notebook, PANDAS and Visualization Lab Exercises. And here we're doing the first section here on the Intro to Pandas material. So the first exercise asks us to create a data frame which has two columns, item and price. The data frame should have three rows. First row, item should be apple, price should be 75 cents. Second row, item should be banana, price should be 42 cents. And the third row, item should be pear, and the price should be 84 cents. So I'll go ahead and show two different ways that we can approach this first exercise. So the first is, uh, well, before we do anything, we want to go ahead and uh, import pandas as PD so that we can use it throughout the exercises. And so the first way we can go about this is we create an empty data frame, nothing in it. Uh, but then we're going to add our columns individually. So we can create an item column which we know that's gonna have apple in the first and banana in the second, so apple and then banana. Um, and then we're going to create the price column. And that we know should have 75 cents in the first row and 42 cents in the second row. So going to add those values there. And then we can see that that data frame has been created appropriately. Now the other way to go about it is to create the data frame all at once by passing it all the data. So we could do a uh, data frame and we're going to pass to that a list of tuples where each tuple has the rows values. So the first row is apple with 75 cents and then the second row is banana with 42 cents. Um, oh, and I missed the pair. <laughs> we should have a pair in here. Pair, uh, 84 cents. Um, so then third row also a uh, pair and 84 cents and then we want to pass the columns separately and the columns are going to be item and price and then when we look at the data frame we've got the exact same thing out of it as the other approach um, adding the columns individually. So coming to the second exercise then we want to print the min, max, and standard deviation of the prices. So again, here we have two main ways to go about this. So one is kind of the shortcut, which gives you all of these different summary statistics, is df.describe. We get the mean, uh, or once min, max, standard deviation, we get the min, we get the max, and the standard deviation, all given to us at once. Um, or you can individually get each of those things, df.min, df.max, df.std, to get each one of those individually. Um, and then coming to exercise three. Using the same data frame, we want to add a new quantity column with the values 10, 30, and 5 for our apple, banana, and pear. And then we want to construct a revenue variable which is price times quantity. So first step, we want to add a quantity column. Um, so this is gonna be you know, the same as the approach we did here to create the data frame by adding a column by giving it a list of the values which should be in that column. So we wanna add a quantity column and it should have values of 10, 30, and five. So just doing that, then we have the quantity column included in the data frame. Then we want to construct the revenue variable. Revenue is going to be equal to the data frames uh, price column times the data frames quantity column. And so when we do that, then we'll see that we get the revenue in there as well as price times quantity. So then coming to exercise four, now we have this data frame 
uh, with price, quantity, revenue. We want to select the item whose quantity is 30. And uh, with the caveat that we want to get just the string banana and not the entire row or series which contains banana. Um, so we want to get the data frame uh, where the quantity is 30. And so we talked about how you can select an entire row, uh, data frame where the data frames quantity is equal to 30. That's going to give us the entire row, right? But we don't want the entire row. We want to get specifically banana out of this. And we learned about how you can do that with dot loc. So dot loc, you give it two arguments. The first argument is how you want to select the rows. So the same way that we were already doing that. And then the second is what columns do we want? So we just want the item column. And so that way we get um, banana coming out here. Um, now that is still uh, coming as a series. I would consider this an acceptable answer because you did extract just the banana part. Um, but you can um, do values zero on any series with a single value in it to then get that actual value out. So then the type of this whole thing is going to be a string um, instead of a series that we got uh, for this part, um, which was a series containing just banana. So would accept either um, answer here, actually pulling out the string or uh, pulling out a series which has just that string in it. So that finishes up the first set of lab exercises for uh, understanding complex results with visualization. We'll come back next time to tackle the styling exercises. So thanks for listening and see you next time.